Black men helped secure Republican Brian Kemp's victory in Georgia. A higher than expected number of black men voted for Republican Brian Kemp in Georgia's gubernatorial election, prompting questions of their voting habits in a post-Barack Obama era. Black men helped secure Republican Brian Kemp's victory in Georgia. Democrat Stacey Abrams admitted defeat on 16 November, over a week after Election Day 2018 had passed. Her concession ended one of the closest races, and one of the most controversial, in Georgia's modern history. Ultimately, Kemp won by nearly 55,000 votes out of around 3,939,000 total votes cast. This margin of victory is much smaller considering Georgia law requires candidates to obtain over 50% of the total vote or else face a runoff with the second highest contender. In this context, Kemp escaped a second election with Abrams by about 17,000 votes. As is typical for states in the Deep South, white men voted overwhelmingly for the Republican candidate, where they made the vast bulk of Kemp's base on election day. Kemp also performed extremely well with white women, capturing about 75% of their vote. On the other side, black women, hoping to elect the first black female governor in U.S. history, voted for Abrams by a 97% margin. However, it's one segment of the Georgia population that has raised eyebrows, black men. Trending, Abrams voter suppression claim damaged after release of turnout numbers. 8% of black men pulled the lever for Kemp on election day, according to the Associated Press vote cast. CNN's network exit polling projected that 